Hello everybody and welcome to game number 12 of the Vampire Pro Tips and it's 150 TV up against Skaven which is good but on the other hand it's um, he's got a movement 10 sprint <laughs> and he's got a horrible ordering of not all the not all the positionals together which you know there's just no excuse for at all and um he's got a couple of mighty blow and a tackler and he's got a wizard hasn't he he's got he's got skaven with a wizard so it's going to be a bit tricky um despite having all this blodge wish i'd had mighty blow vampires now <laughs> funnily enough oh dear Everyone is separated by a line but still you've got to have all your positionals together. You've just got to. There's, there's, you've just got to. <laughs> Don't insult anybody, try. Please. Please refrain from insulting people. Random boy, and I request that you win this. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, four one zero or something. So pretty good record. He scummed a babe as well. I think unnecessarily versus my pacifist team. But there you go. I uh, well, that's that is an insult, isn't it? Um. <laughs> God, now it's horrible mind games. There's no excuse for it. Uh, no, Grindel, no. Even though this is the problem, I, I like freedom of speech too much. That's the problem, isn't it? So, try is a good guy. He just he just calls people shit at blood bowl sometimes when he shouldn't. But he, I just like you to not call people shit at blood bowl. Try, even if you think they are, it's just your opinion, and you know you might hurt someone's feelings, and you know. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem with rest of development. They are real people, aren't they? That's the thing. Although although everything's just names on a screen, they are real people, aren't they? Behind the behind the screen. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Message to the lead. He's not shit, is he? He's he's doing quite well this season. <laughs> Uh, and I don't know if I've played Try ever or seen him play, but he's certainly got a decent record with his vampires. He's kicking, so I'm not going to be able to stop him getting the one turn. Yeah, I don't like these these coloured coloured names. I think it's a bit lame, but I do like it for finding your team in the ladder. It's very good for finding your team in the ladder. So I do need to do a a guide on how to do it, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Silly bastard. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> You're absolutely cretin. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, can't we all just get along? Oh yeah, the purple helmets. Yeah, yeah. Just call everyone helmet. <laughs> call everyone helmet with the purple letters. That's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, you were <laughs> you were being a silly bastard at the time. Ah oh, dear. That's good, isn't it? It's all a bit of a laugh, isn't it? Right, can he, he can't even sack me, can he? He's got nothing. He's got nothing. You'll do nothing. So the dodge can carry it. And a zero guy can get bit. A, a block guy can come on the pitch. Yes, please. Let's do that. Wrestle can make a safe block. Good. And... Mmm... 
that's defend against wizard uh, against wizard against the blitz. Uh. So then he could only one dice. Hmm. Okay, have them there. In case I get a bunch of pushes. <sighs> I guess as safe as I'm going to get against a, wizard, a blitzers now. I guess put these guys out. One. It does mean that I don't have anyone back in case of a deep kick. Which is bad because he's got kick. about all I can do then. 2D into a 2D. 2D, 2D, 2D. But now if he blitzes him, I'm fucked. But it's not easy to blitz him. Okay. Scared of the blitz, aren't I? That's the biggest thing. Yeah, Garion. Feel the VIPness. Oh god, look at that. What a kick. What a kick. Lucky dingo. I can't even go for the pickup this turn. Piece of shit. See, I shouldn't have blocked, should I? I should have just not blocked. Fucking dipstick. Block with a vampire, cast my own guy. And it's a fucking wrestler. Yeah, of course. That was, that was fucking stupid, wasn't it? It was obviously gonna happen. I don't know why I've fucking activated a vampire. Dumbest thing I could have done. Blitz without block, that's better. I've got to activate him, I've got a screen here. At the screen. I've got a GFI. Come on. <sighs> Had to have the ball, didn't I? <laughs> GG. <sighs> yeah, I hate just blocking them on the LOS. I really hate blocking with them on the LOS. Cause my own guy. Idiot. <laughs> it is, isn't it, Orleans? Ah, that's a good point, Tony, yeah.
I mean, the good thing is I'm Arch 4, aren't I, with Dodge, so I can just fuck off if he if he bases me. He hasn't got any gutters. He's only got one gutter. What? Okay, he's got gutters. I just couldn't tell they were gutters. Oh, this is a horrible kit. They don't even look like gutter runners. That's horrible. Like, they just look exactly the same as the Linos. It's a horrible, disgusting kit. I'm going to copy that kit. <laughs> It's like literal camouflage. Holy shit. Blood revenge basically means, well, he's, he's got tackled, mighty blow, so he'll definitely blitz this one. I can't believe he didn't blitz this one. Maybe he had a guy that stood next to him. I think he'd definitely blitz those. Uh, I guess not if, they're, not if I can just stop him assisting. So I've got to have someone that's stopping him assisting. S -s stopping him ass -s assisting. It's actually easy to remove because he's armor eight, isn't he? He's easy to remove. Then they're, they're not they're not so easy to keep removed, but they're pretty easy to remove. I'm not gonna go there. I think that's better to be there. I don't know why, but I do think it's better to be there. Yeah, he has tackle. Yeah, he has tackle mate, though. <laughs> Why haven't you rolled plus strength and energy? Because I'm a noob. I rolled plus movement but didn't take it because it was first go. Oh man, these block thralls are doing wonders. Yeah, it was the first skill. Um, we didn't want to take it first skill movement. Obviously now I'd like movement, but getting pro is good, isn't it? And getting sidesteps good, so. And get a punch back. Yeah, mighty blow guy. I might have taken it if I had dodge. Dodge movement seven's pretty good, but I couldn't take it before dodge. I just couldn't. Pro after blodge. And then sidestep. Or maybe tackle, then tackle, and, so, and then a mix of tackle and sidestep, I guess. Maybe tackle on one, I don't know. I don't know. Definitely. <sighs> yeah, I think a block one with, with Guy, we think a wrestle could get dodged. He's got a wizard, hasn't he? So straight away he's just got a fucking scoring ch chance now. I'd rather go three pro on tackle. I might just go four pro. Don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hmm. 
Hooked up. Base, base, base. Alright, Vampire Blitz? Why not? Get up there. Brutal push. Case of wizard shenanigans. The vampires are caged up inside the throttles. <laughs> Some thrall could get sure hands. Sure hand thrall can get it can. Oh, there you go. Good. Good good guy block thrall finally killed. Mighty Blow did it as well. Yeah, that was good, wasn't it? Yeah, would have got a push into another mighty blow hit. Maybe I will take a mighty blow. <laughs> I want pro first, though, so that I can blitz every turn. <laughs> Nine players. Fuck off, man. <sighs> Even on a guy to bite, I just, I just sick of. I'm just sick of biting my own players. Now he's finally getting to mighty blow tackle the bumps, but at least this guy's in the way of it. Yeah, it's hard to take, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Pom. Yeah, that's, that's what you want, isn't it? You want Pom. I mean, you obviously want Pom. Tackle is huge, isn't it? Tackle's absolutely huge. Blodge, Blodge Pro Tackle. Those four are big, aren't they? And I guess you could go Pom on one 
and sidestep on most of them. Plus stats, which you want. I know, I never thought of it. No, it's, it's hard. But well, first of all, it's hard to keep them all alive. And second of all, it's hard because you want to take... It's the opportunity cost, isn't it? You want bludge on all of them. And you want tackle. So... Yeah, they'd be better if they started with dodge, wouldn't they? Greed's re-rolls this. Mighty blow hit on arm rate. Doesn't even hurt him. Glorious. Doesn't pin me on the sideline. Interesting. I thought for sure to push there and follow. Very interesting. That'd be nice to get a cheeky gaze, then a blitz, and then run through with everybody, wouldn't it? I could still try the block, the block, the gaze on him, and then a blitz on him, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Everyone gets through then. This is getting a scary turn for the wizard, isn't it? Based cage. I'm going to have to base cage it. There's no, there's no alternative but a based cage. Well, there is, but I can't be bothered with it. <laughs> can't be bothered with anything except a base cage. Go back to the middle. I've got to stop burning rerolls on on gears. But there was no important dice rolls after, was there? <sighs> this might be a fireball turn. <laughs> Six under it, and people, you know, surrounded the cage. Surrounded. If he's ever going to fireball, this is the turn he's going to fireball. Might hold off for a bolt or might he? I don't think it's a particularly good turn to fireball. I just think if he's going to fireball, he'll do it. You know, there's lots of targets, but I mean, who? What? What do you want to happen? Do you know what I mean from the knockdowns? I don't know. None of them seem particularly game-winning apart from knocking over the ball. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna bolt at some point. Gotta get forward, haven't I? At some time. I 
I did try to get four that turn, but just failed the failed the four plus game. Because if you lo if you lose your vamps, you lose the game, basically. Because sabs. Do you mean on defense and on offense? Because you might bloodlust and lose your own players when you're trying to lose your opponents. Maybe there'll be a gap in his line now. Anyway, he's got a lot in the middle there, hasn't he? Four players to punch these guys. So hopefully he's going to leave one side a bit weaker. And with a blitz and a, a blitz and a gaze, might be able to get through. I I didn't add the mad. In fact, maybe like on a developed team when he's the only unskilled van, so that you can like you know you can win games and and feed him. But early on, I didn't take it. Yeah, Tarabrali. Yeah, I remember him Tarabrali, didn't it? But he, was, he started with five amps, though. So having five amps is different from having four anyway, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if you can believe it. Right. I've got to do something here, haven't I? This is... Uh, he's gazed. So... There's a lot of rotation up this way, isn't there, available? I'm just going to go for that without really thinking it through. <laughs> it's the gym way. Three dice of gutter. Seems good. Got a GFI. Scary. I'm gonna eat that guy if I have to. Do I need to block that corner? I guess not. It is just a GFI, isn't it? But I could go here and just screen it. That might be better. I don't know if it's better to just screen without dice rolls. I guess getting him further forward is good if I actually want to try and score. So go on then. Go for it. Oof. Roll the two plus. Outrageous. They both got mighty blow. Unfortunately, by biting that thrall, he can just move everyone. Doesn't even need to use one to block. But it was only one to block anyway. So. Oh yeah, five man fireball. I mean, I don't mind if he goes for the fireball, do I? His, his fireball is not as nowhere near as good for him as a as a bolt is. So I kind of want him to tempt him into a, a fireball. I already tried the other turn, but he didn't go for it. At least I'm in the opposing half now on turn, turn six. <laughs> Probably should have tried to get forward last turn. I haven't tried to get forward a few times. Hmm. 
I don't know, he can rotate around. And he's got a mighty blow, mighty blow tackle hit to come, hasn't he? Pals me blodger. <laughs> yeah, res the development, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the best defense against a one turner is just not scoring yourself. A He's thinking about greeting it, but he's gotta keep a reroll for his one turner, right? So he can't greed it. I wouldn't have hated the greed reroll there, to be honest. TBH. The fact that I've got a blitz and a gaze is pretty good, isn't it? So there's always a shot of breaking through. No matter how no matter how he plays and tries to stop everything, there's always gonna be a chance of a gaze and a, a gaze and a blitz breaking through anything. Not like that. <laughs> not like that. That's not how you. That's not how you screen. Uh, the record is down the bottom there. WR Spenny six five zero. And uh, now a blitz here gives us a straight walkthrough. One two three four five six. And a GFI is going to make us pretty safe. One two three four five six. Put people in here. This is looking pretty good, isn't it? Oh, you fucking shit cunt. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> now, well, now I just can't GFI. <laughs> That's simple. Shouldn't have stacked that, should I? Right. It's a bit shit, but got in range. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's scary, I haven't used the reroll straight away. Very lucky, yeah, after, after the, using the reroll, very lucky. Bolt used. It's the it's gone where the exposed guy is and the gutter runner. Oh shit. Oh shit. It'd be much better if it'd gone either of these sides. Maybe this guy went in there, should have gone in there, eh? Showed that up a bit. Oh yeah, maybe he should have done. Where was he? One, two, three, four, five, six. I could have gone there. Because <laughs> the show hands got her as well. Oh, shit. 
It was always going to happen, though, wasn't it? I mean, I couldn't stop him bolting and having a good shot at winning. It was a pretty... Hmm, wasn't that bad a scatter, I guess. At least, it, at least it wasn't a failed catch and then another scatter, but it wasn't good. I will do, Kamaya. Yeah, eventually, after Blodge. Blodge first, though. Really need him to fail here. <laughs> Two dice, just needs a push. No, I guess he, he, a push isn't that good for him, actually. He probably wants to get the knockdown, and it's blood. So at least he's going to have to roll some dice if he doesn't get the knockdown here. He did, yeah, he bolted. He bolted. And it's looking... Scurry. Come on, double one. Double one. Go on. Go on. Yes. <laughs> double one. <laughs> Yes! Get up there! Double one! <laughs> and this guy is, uh, has been gazed, so it's a 2D, isn't it, with him? Or maybe a better way of doing it. One, two, three, four, five, six. He could 2D him for a push, then he could blitz, then he could go in the end zone, and then he can go and GFI. Yep. Can I block with block to set it up? No. Fuck. <sighs> Maybe that wasn't the way, eh? Maybe I should have... Oh, had that guy. That guy could have just stood up and tried to gaze. Oh, shit. That guy should have just tried to gaze. Bollocks. Well, at least he's not going to score himself anyway. Oh, yeah! Oh, God. I love the ball. Phew. Oh. Yeah, that guy should have just tried to gaze. Shit. Oh, well, it doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> Phew. Get fucked, you little cunt! <laughs> Fuck off! Glorious. Right, here's the shit part, though. The natural one-turner. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I've got ten... No, I've got eleven. Thank fuck. Thank fuck I've got eleven players. And Wizard survived, isn't it? So that's good. It was a loop X score of me, but to be fair, I've been wizarded um, by by Skaven rather than there was only two Skaven left because I murdered them all with Claw. <laughs> right, zero, zero, zero. Um, let's protect the vampires. <laughs> oh, ah, well, what if there's a riot? There could be a riot. Mm. Protect the, the rowdy block thralls. Zero, zero, zero. Yeah, it's it's not bad, is it? I mean this was a this was tough, the fact that he was gonna get the one turn. He's got the one turn chance. And uh he's got the wizard as well, I mean. There was a really good chance of going in one nil down, and now it's one one at worst, isn't it? Made removal, but he's got reserves, and he's made removals, but I've got reserves. So, yeah, yeah, this could do. I mean, I, what I think backlining it is all you can do, isn't it, against a natural one turner? 
Hope for the best. Hope for the fucking best. I mean, he can still get the bad thing. He gets the pushes to make his, you know, the GFI is easier, but that's still better than <laughs> than doing an anti one turn setup, and he just runs through and and scut and makes the GFIs, isn't it? What Samba says it depends on the GFIs, doesn't it? Because you're probably going to get him a one push or two pushes, and then you're probably going to have a two plus pick up, and then a two plus handoff, maybe a two plus pass, and then all the dodges. Get the ref. Oh, that could help me, I guess, because he's got better players. I mean, okay, he can foul vampires, but I can foul. It's good to runners is pretty good. You should not have gone for the whole strategy. There's absolutely no no excuse for using the whole strategy there at all. No excuse whatsoever. It's a KO. <laughs> Gets a KO from it though, so there is that. Doesn't matter, does it? Because I've got reserves. Unless he makes another cas. Yeah, he's just trying to get the pushes to make it easier, isn't he? But that would make the pass harder, so actually it wouldn't do anything. He doesn't need the push, no, but it's, it saves. Yeah, he could have got one push. It, it saves him making the GFIs. The only thing is, he, what he should have thought was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. He doesn't even need the pushes. Oh wow, he nearly double scored that. That would have been incredible. But yeah, it doesn't really save a GFI. Due, due to him having them where the ball landed, it doesn't it wouldn't have saved him a GFI. Unless he'd made two pushes, I guess. And then done a three plus pass. And he's just making two pluses and well he's the one's a four plus dodge, isn't it? But No oh, shit, hasn't used the reroll yet. Very likely to score now. He can't even be thinking of making a two dice block here without a block. That's insanity. 50 50 to use a reroll on the GFIs, isn't he? So, if he fails one of the dodges, there's a chance, but I would really like him to have. To have failed the pick up or the pass or the catch. I mean, three two pluses. So he's making six two pluses in total. And then the dodges as well. Dodge is gone. Yes. Lucky Jimbo. Yeah, he's got as we're not ideally positioned. Yeah, true wolf back. He should have had one deeper Get so that you little cunt. he could have got the pushes. <laughs> Fuck off. And he should have done it with with the whole with without the whole method. Right. Well, this is good, isn't it? We've got a full team. Kind of. I can just load a setup, can't I? Just realise. Whoa. Yeah, boy. Hmm, offset LOS or not? Maybe he's asking a bit much against gutters. Fuck it, go go for it anyway. Protects the thralls a little bit, doesn't it? Save. Save one of the two SPP vamps. Blodge, blodge, blodge. Oh, he didn't score. Oh, yeah, he got bolted, didn't he? Shit. Uh, four, eight, eleven. So, yeah, we've both got eleven. I think I'll just rule a five it, don't I? There's no need to try anything spectacular. If he wants to score in two, it's okay, because he, he hasn't got the wizard. He hasn't got any tools to turn me over either, apart from the wizard. <laughs> if 
big fan of Richard Gere. <laughs> oh dear. An incredible feel in the one turn, isn't it? I mean, roughly, you can roughly do it on Samba, can't you? Where it's, uh, it'd be a two plus pick up, two plus throw, two plus catch, three GFIs, and then a four plus, three plus, two plus dodge with dodge. That comes out at 40% with a reroll, which isn't, isn't that likely to make it all, is he? So, but yeah, if he if he had positioned his gut runner maybe he's further back, he could, he could have saved the pass. And if he had if he had uh, done the chain better, he could have got one push forward. So he could have saved two of those two pluses maybe potentially. But it was still a lucky kick. Vampires are better on defense than offense, but um, he's got he's got gutters, hasn't he? So <laughs> it's like they're not that good on defense. that all right I think this is okay exposing the vamps get them fighting strength four God turn eight against a wizard and against a one turner somehow made it one nil up. Fuck it, let's go. Ain't got time to think. Yeah, rotten blood. I feel like you're playing a hox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's quite good having the strength advantage, isn't it? Like, it it is good that you can go man sometimes, vampires. Especially if you've got five or six vampires. Would have rather had a blitz though. <laughs> that would have been a very nice, very nice kickoff for a blitz, wasn't it? That's the thing, they've got the movement so they can just stay away from like uh, from blitzing range, can't they? So the vampire defensive threat is neutered versus elves and Skaven quite a bit, I think. Hello, old fat. <laughs> or hello, old fat. I don't know what the question marks are for. <sighs> Fucking vampires, what the actual fuck. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> I can style, hello. Message <laughs> deleted. Oh dear. So yeah, he needs the power there to set up the two D with Mighty Blow Tackle. I knew he could do that, but then I thought if I just put the might if I put my vampire on the end then he can just straight up bit him anyway, can't he? And he plus he needed the power to be able to hit the vamp. He doesn't get a hit with these, at least. I don't know why I didn't put block in there. That was a bit stupid, wasn't it? No, he doesn't get the pow! Mad lad. Goes for the one dice and gets the power! Oh my god, you dirty boy! No way! Oh, and the AV break! And the Kaz. And the Apple. And the Regen. Ah, oh, good. Wow. Wow, that was annoying. That was an annoying little fucking one dice power, wasn't it? Great. Holy shit. And I know Miss Next Games are like the worst things to Apple, but I'd still rather not have a Miss Next Game vamp. <laughs> and the chance of him casting another vamp is pretty low, isn't it? Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> burp, burp, burp. <laughs> That's a GFI. I've got to punch him first. I guess I do. Get up, shy. Right. Okay, I don't have tackle, but I've still got to go for it, I think. Why not, eh? Just a couple of GFIs to smash him. Got him. You can scream, I guess. Punch first. Oh, yeah, Kaz. Get in. Apple fails for him. Wish I'd done it the turn before, so my vamp wasn't Kaz, but never mind, eh? Yeah, and just screen here, I guess. Pretty funny that vamps are just like, yeah, just, just get the ball there. If only he was a movement seven vampire, eh? He could have, he could have GFI'd and picked it up, and then that would have been pretty good. No, I think he can just 2D me with his tackle. Maybe I should have based the tackle, gazed him. Based the tackle with this guy and then gazed the other guy or something. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you should have based the tackle over there, right? Vamp strippers, I ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I should have tagged him, shouldn't I? That was that was poor. Oh. Ah oh. oh, shit. Yeah, I should have tagged. Fuck. Don't break AV. Don't break AV. I don't think they would be OP if they had built in movement seven. No, I think they'd be I think they'd be alright. Well 
But at least something's happening anyway, isn't it? Hello, Jellyo. Jelly deals. I should have fucking tagged him though. Yeah, that was that was bad. Blocking the breakaway because I was thinking he could just stand up and pick it up and run and pass. But I guess I should have thought about like you know he wouldn't want to stall. He you know he wouldn't want to stall fast. He wants to stall, doesn't he? So I could have uh, could have tagged the tackler there. I just was scared of the breakaway because I thought, you know, he's got, he's got short hands, hasn't he? So it's not even hard. Yeah, there's no apples left. That's true. See, so he does have a pretty major breakaway there now. to stop all my guys getting stunned and cast. Oh, you fuck. You fucker. <laughs> right. Punch him. Gaze him. <laughs> Shit. Worst possible result. Fucking hell, remove my own guy. Don't get the blitzes, fucking dickhead. Uh, one turner. Oh, and then double skull. <laughs> fucking dice on me. Holy shit. So the plan there was to gaze him, blitz him with a wrestler. And then foul him. I think that was all right, an alright plan. But instead it went absolutely to fuck, didn't it? There's no one to foul, is there? You just run there and hand it off to him. It is going very vampire at the moment. I'm okay with running this guy, because then at least... I am pretty scared of the full potato. I don't want him to be able to stall it, do I? That vampire could have done with being here, really. But I didn't want a GFI. As it is, it's the per he's the perfect target to blitz with Mighty Blow. Oh, maybe he's going to go down the sideline. Mm, he is. Well, at least he didn't kill a vampire this turn. <laughs> 
But yeah, I guess I really should have tagged that tackle early of the turn, eh? Hmm. <laughs> Running out of men's. I think I've got eight left. Four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So outbashed fully now by Skaven. I mean, the thing is, if I'd tagged the tackler, then he would have just he would have just picked it up in the tackle zone and probably worked. But I guess that was worse odds for him. Yeah, he could have rolled six two pluses and just scored. Yeah. I'm gonna get two D in the ball here though, can't I? Whatever happens. Whatever happens, he can't stop he can't stop me getting two D in the ball here unless unless he gets run the uh, he could run over here, I guess. It's the only way I'm not getting two dice on the ball. Oh like I roll badly. <laughs> Can always roll badly, but you know what I mean. He's got to make two GFIs here, hasn't he? I think. I don't think doing them one at a time serves any purpose. I think he has to make both. He's just gonna go all in on that dodge. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Dirty Dino. Dirty Dino. Alright, so the vampire can come around. I mean I can still just go there and hit him. So <laughs> it doesn't really do that much. Gaze him and bite the guy on the ground, brilliant. I think him in there and then hit the ball is, is the play, isn't it? Ah, oh, no, I want to get this guy there. Right, double G fight to hit him with wrestle. Just do that, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Load of shit. The old, the old don't protect the ball at all. <laughs> <laughs> Hope for a double one strat paying off. Shit. Absolute shit.
That was very unlucky, that, wasn't it? Maybe I could have moved him back first. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I mean, I wanted him to react because I, I could have knocked the ball, you know, I could have powered him there, ball could have gone in the crowd and he could have reacted to it. I don't think that was a good play though by him. I think it was horrible he didn't make the extra GFI with a gutter runner. Really horrible to not, to not screen there. Incredible, really. Incredible that he just didn't screen. Powers of Vampire, breaks AV. What's going to happen to him though? Oh, Kaz. I mean, I knew he was going to get armor broken. There was no... Oh, minus strength for regen fail. Fucking, fucking A. Brilliant. There was no... There was no doubt he was going to break AV. I mean, that was just a given, wasn't it? At least it was the worst fam. But fuck's sake, man. After I pulled the other one. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have pulled the other one, eh? Because it was just a miss next game. And if I'd appalled him, he wouldn't have died because it would have been a miss next game. But I thought it was unlikely to cast me. Silly me. I mean, he was unlikely to make a perm, a region, an unregen perm. Yeah. I'm at 140k at the moment. Dodge before recovering his gazed guy. Dodge as well. Everything works. Everything works. Dr. Mombosco. I mean, I guess it's not going to be a loss unless he goes for the win. At the moment, this is just going to be a a, a draw, isn't it? So he's got to decide if he's he's the one who decides if there's a chance of me losing or not. Oh, God, I should, guess I just shouldn't have fucking activated him. Fuck's sake. Let's just wait and see what he does. You might score this turn, because four turns is enough to tempt me to try and score myself. And I guess my KOs could come back. Two come back, and then still got 11. He can't have 11. No, he can, he's still got 11 here. Four, eight. 9, 10, he's still got 11 at the moment. It is full implosion, rest of development, yeah, yeah. He just cast a bunch of guys and didn't fail anything. So, <laughs> it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard when your opponent cases half your... Half, when, you, when you're down with two vampires, you're up shit creek, aren't you? He just cast everything. I could have I could have tagged the storm vermin and I could have... Uh, I could have not appled a miss next game. And now he's just going to mighty blow me every turn. Oh, well, he's used a reroll. 
<laughs> it might not be. Draw, he might go for the win. I don't know if he's going to go for the win or not. I'm almost tempted to not try him. Because if I try it, just pressure him, then I'm exposing my vamps, aren't I? Which makes it more likely for him to get the win if he goes for it. Whereas if I just stay where I am, I might not. Outrageous. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that, he could have died, couldn't he? At least he's got to blitz this thrall now, pretty much. Score. Then I'm pretty. I'm pretty like just down now because this has been so brutal. And obviously losing the vamp, dodge vamp isn't so bad, I guess. But so close to the dream of having four bludge vampires. My apple was a bit shit, so I feel a bit bad about the apple. Not bad, hippie, not bad. 6 5 oh, this is looking like a draw, which is alright. So it'll be 6 wins, 6 draws, and no losses with vampires. It's crazy, isn't it? Like, that is a crazy good record. But I'm just down because there's been so, such a one sided half. After getting the ball, well, no, knocking the ball loose. Um, it's been a bit tough. But dead vampire is never good, is it? Yeah, I've missed next game. Nah, I probably shouldn't have done it. I probably really shouldn't have done that. After. But I just didn't really want to miss next game. Next game, you know. And he wasn't, he's not, he's pretty unlikely to, to perm, isn't he? Even if he casts all three vampires, he only perms one, and then you've got a 50-50 to get him back. So it was really unlikely that he was going to, uh, he was going to do anything, to be fair. Take the draw then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was really unlikely, wasn't it, for him to make another cast. So that's why I thought I just don't want to miss next game, next next game. But So yeah, he's gotta cast the vamp first of all, and then one in six after he's cast the vamp. So yeah, I thought it wasn't it wasn't so likely for him to cast one to to perm one. But yeah, I mean the miss a miss next game with regen is the is the least apple worthy thing ever, isn't it? <laughs> so I probably shouldn't have done. I guess if I, I could have not appled it and then bought the fifth vampire for the next match. I guess that's a good thing about having four vamps, isn't it? You can always go to the fifth vamp when you've got one miss next game.
Can't believe he's letting me make him roll dice. I guess unless he goes to... He should have moved him first though, shouldn't he? Should have moved him to there. But I just couldn't have reached him. I've got a chance of quad skulls getting me the win now. Yeah, I'm surprised as well. I'm pretty happy he's just taken the draw. <laughs> to be honest, I'm pretty happy. Like, although it was lame to give up, um, I was pretty happy he gave me the... He gave me the... Let me off with a draw. And now, if he hexes skulls, um, he doesn't even draw. Come on, hexes skulls. Get up there. You can do it. Come on. Six skulls. First time I'll have ever seen it in one of my own games. No. Should have prayed to Ducky, shouldn't I? That's enough. That's 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 twelve player, eleven players. Let's hope he sets up terribly. Fingers crossed, he sets up terribly. This can be it. Come on. Yes, there's a chance. You're telling me there's a fucking chance. All right. All right, there is a fucking chance. Get up there. Right. Oh, hey, hey! <laughs> As if there's actually a chance. All right, I'll probably start back here. Yeah. Oh man, imagine if I score this. Imagine if I score this. Hey, eh? I'll be, I'll be a happy, I'll be a happy camper. Riot! Oh. <gasps> Well, now there's definitely a chance. Holy moly. Right. That's what I get forward, don't I, first. Got two rerolls as well, so he can go there and hand off. He can bloodlust here on on the punch. That's fine. I need a vamp in range first, realistically. One, two, three, six. I guess he could dodge there. Ah. 
I could have done the one turn just to be what I could do, but no, it's it's not it's not as good odds, is it? Let's be honest. Um, might like block without block. I don't know. I think I want the rerolls for the hand pick up and handoff. So there's at least something there now, isn't there? Right, now I can guess I can block with him. So the Vam can get in front. If he blitzes, he needs the power, and it's still horrible. So... What about if I go around and blitz that way? Is that is that anything? Anything like something? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a cage, isn't there? I mean, I could just dodge with dodge, I guess. That's that's better than a than a blitz. No, it's not. It's exactly the same. So just fucking get him forward. Bite that guy. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, there was a riot. Double GFI with him, might as well. Get up there! Alright. That wasn't bad, was it, in the end? It wasn't... It wasn't the best... fucking... effort you've ever seen in your life. But after using the... After using the reroll and the catch, it was shit, because I wanted to be able to GFI with this vampire and stuff, and... Make a bunch more GFIs if I had. But yeah, it was a riot. Incredible, isn't it? Incredible riot. He took the draw, Misser. He took the draw, and it might have it might have backfired, because he might not even get the draw now. On the other hand, he just might kill another vampire. <laughs> I guess that's a possibility, isn't it? He just kills another fucking vampire. Oh shit, did he chain me out of range? That was clever, wasn't it? I was, um... I was AFK then for a second. But... Is that what he's done? He chained, he chained me back. Yeah, but he can score. And these two can both score. And he can, uh, maybe gaze. That was good, wasn't it? That was a good move. I guess I fucked up by allowing that, but that was still a good move. Oh yeah, of course it was obvious to obvious chain. Now that I've thought about it, shit. Obvious chain. I was an idiot. Ah, oh, but I did that in case I failed to dodge. So 
I guess I was a bit unlucky to fail the dodge. Not fail the dodge, fail the handoff. It's because I'd failed the handoff. Right, this seems just too nice, isn't it? Hand off, blitz through. Get a push. Even block there. Put a guy in there, block there, and then go one. No, I can't go that way. Just blitz him. For a push and then dodge. Could maybe try and gaze him, but he's a long way away. Double G. I don't like the double G if I to gaze him. I'm only trying to gaze this guy. Not that it matters because it's just a straight up handoff and blitz, isn't it? I just, it's just a handoff blitz. There's nothing better, is there? I'm not being stupid here. Put three players in there, block him, power him, move him to there. The blitz there still could be bad. Blitzing him would be dodging through there. So I think just straight up blitz there. Could I do it with a different character? I guess I could. No, I couldn't really. No. Throw blitz in the storm limit is not as good, I don't think. Oh, I could put a guy there, blitz from that direction. But then I'm like blocking my path somehow. No, I think this is I think this is it. Alright, got the power. Just two GFIs. Get up there. Get up there. Just smash him. And score. Glorious. Punished for not going for the air. Punished not going for the win there, wasn't he? <laughs> Glorious. The double score was horrible, wasn't it? Holy shit. <laughs> Nothing like rolling the double instant. Oh, I got another double one for winnings, but enough for uh, the replacement vampire. And uh, oh, I play on Xbox. Oh, no. pretty good. Out blocked them. <laughs> and uh, the gazes were really bad. A lot of them were three plus. The going for it were good. Um. And what was I thinking of? Oh, Bloodlust. Bloodlust 77, yeah. I thought the Bloodlust was harsh that game. And 20, 16, 30. So a fair, a good amount of powers, to be fair. 21, 21, 16. So a touch unlucky on the on the block dice for him. I don't know about the dodges. He did a lot of three pluses that work. Wow. There you go. So that was a pretty good, pretty good result in the end. <laughs> I was happy with the draw. I was happy that he he, he he was merciful and let me have the draw, to be honest. So, um, yeah. How, how, do value do I, how highly do I value pro? That highly. There you go. After blodge, but not before. So, yeah, I guess I sack. I sack Kyle Levin, rehire him, sack these two, and then have 14 players with four vampires again. So... There you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.